Debilitating pain has dominated Francis Wakefield's life for years after a car accident. But now he's in even more agony because of complications following eye surgery. I don't know which is worse. The headaches or the physical pains. I had cataracts done a few years back. Since having the cataract surgery and the implants put in the eye, um, I've suffered with triple vision. And for over the last three years, and it is over the last three years, I'm still waiting to go back to have it corrected. While Francis waits, his distorted vision is causing daily migraines. It's excruciating. And there are far too many others with stories like his. The latest NHS figures showed almost six and a half million people are waiting for treatment. That's a record and a massive increase on 4.4 million people before the pandemic. So to tackle the backlog, patients waiting two years or more can now go to another part of the country where they can be treated sooner. The cost of travel and accommodation will be covered, but for Francis, a long car journey could mean unbearable pain. That would be a nightmare for me. And I wouldn't be able to just go straight there and come straight back. Sorry. But in the medical community, there is cautious optimism. I think we shouldn't be um, too concerned about patients being offered care out of area, as long as that there's provisions for people, say, for example, who go for knees and hop uh, hip operations, to have follow-up care locally if needed. The NHS says it's on track to treat all those waiting two years or more by the end of next month. But they'll need patients willing and able to travel potentially hundreds of miles away from home for this plan to work. Becky Cottrell, Sky News, Lancashire.